What is up guys, Chris here, and today we're going for the, the close-up of my face for some reason. Don't know why, just thought I'd switch things up a little bit. And today we're doing a Can Chris Solve of this thing. This is the uh, this is the Barrel Ready Cube. I just did my unboxing of this puzzle and I want to try and solve it straight away. Um, hopefully you've already seen that video, if not, go check it out. Uh, but this is the scrambled version of the Barrel Ready Cube and right here we have the unscrambled version. Uh, so I think we should just have a go at this. I know I can solve a ready cube. I know I can solve most shape mods. So let's just give this guy a go and see if we have any difficulty with it. So a ready cube is a corner turning puzzle. That means we turn it by the corners only. So if we solve all of our corners, we should have kind of a point of reference. So there you go, all of our corners are now solved. You can see the barrel shape and how it kind of works. The thing that I'm worried about the most is getting my color scheme right. And I'm not gonna look at the solved version of the barrel just so I can kind of figure it out for myself if we have some issues with uh, parity or whatever. I wanna figure that out for myself. So I'm gonna start by just popping this guy in. This is a nice uh, green edge here. Uh, next up I'm going to put the red one in and the whole point of the ready cube is that you can solve it very easily using just sledgehammer moves. Um, so it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, okay that doesn't fit in there um, so we need a different blue. Looks like we're going to be using this one. Uh, so let's pop you right in there with, you guessed it, a sledgehammer. And then we can use that's not gonna work, so we're gonna use this piece instead. Pop, 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 sledgehammer. Okay, there we go. So we've done our first face, and I'm starting to think we won't have parity because um, these edges can't be flipped incorrectly. Uh, they can't be slotted in with the wrong orientation, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why, but just with a ready cube, you'll never have a badly oriented edge in its correct slot. So based off of that, this blue should definitely fit here, no matter what. And if I did the color scheme the opposite way, this piece, this blue here would fit down here, and this piece would go up here. Um, so I think as long as you're consistent with your color scheme and you keep these kind of diagonal lines, I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with this puzzle. So, okay. This is where I think it's gonna get a bit confusing. This is the F2L stage now. So, how am I gonna do this? So, I'm gonna put in the, the blue one right now. So that's going up here and slotting it in. The red one is already solved. The green one might prove to be a bit more difficult. So I'm gonna put in this yellow one first because that's right there. As for green, should be fairly straightforward. We're just using an empty slot to store the green and then popping it in like that. And then we get to our last face. So this is where I think it's gonna get a bit confusing because we have these orientations to worry about. Okay, so just looking at this, I've noticed that I've put this red in the wrong place. It actually needs to be right here. So we're gonna fix that firstly. And that means our corners should all be oriented correctly, which they are. So this is where it'll get challenging, I think. We have two incorrectly flipped edges, um, and we have two correctly flipped. So this blue is in the right place. Uh, I know this because um, it matches it with the blue. I don't think it works if this blue goes here, because the blue just isn't flipped correctly that way, uh, if you look closely. So this blue is in the right place, the red needs to go here, the green needs to go here, and the yellow needs to go here. So this should just be a U-perm, should be pretty straightforward. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did it, cool. Did we do, yeah, mm. Yeah, that's solved, that's definitely solved. It's in a barrel shape and it works. And if we take a look at this, uh, I, is, that, is that color scheme flip there? Oh, so we have done it backwards and it works. Just comparing this to the barrel, um, that was solved. It definitely works that way around. Um, so that's cool, that's good to know. I actually might try and solve it the other way just to double check. So just bear with me one second. 
So I'm going to put this yellow down here and do it the other way so it matches with the other barrel. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't work. I'm just kind of curious at this point. So let's do it like this. Then we want to put our red piece down here. And then green. All right, so now we're doing F2L. All okay, that's all good. And now it's the opposite way around. So we're going to have a green here. You are correct, which means we're going to do another U perm. Oh, maybe another one then. And then it's solved. And is this the same now? Oh, cool. So there's two different... Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, now it is. Now it's exactly the same. So there's two different ways you can solve this puzzle. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, actually. I just I was curious as to whether it did have the two solved states or not. So you can do the color scheme basically however you want, as long as you stick to the corners. So that is excellent. We've solved it. Ta-da! All right then guys, there it is. We've managed to solve the barrel ready cube. The ready cube is actually a really nice puzzle and one of my favorites. I'm kind of sad that I don't have one anymore. I think I left it in Canada. Um, so it's nice to have at least one form of ready cube, even if it is in a barrel form. Uh, as always, I love shape mods and it's really nice to see different shape mods of non-WCA puzzles that already exist because it can get pretty boring doing 3x3 three three shape mods like the Axis Cube or the Fisher Cube. Uh, so now that we have puzzles like the Fisher Cube and now the Ready Barrel Cube, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting really into them and I like them a lot. So uh, I'd really appreciate it if Mo, you and Chi can keep coming out with those. Thank you. That is it from me though guys, we've managed to solve this pretty simple puzzle. I thought I would be able to, but you know, sometimes parity can happen and you cannot solve puzzles like the square one, which, uh, well, mm, the square one's hard-ish. Anyway, that is it. As I said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember give me a big thumbs up. Let me know what puzzles you want to see in the description below, in the comment section below. In the, leave them in the comment section and then subscribe and you'll be notified whenever I make new videos and screw up my words like I have in today's. Whew. Have a great day.